Good evening everyone, I am Angel, welcome to the channel. Today, on the 13th of January 2022, our district, San Juan de Lurigancho, celebrates its 55th year of political creation as a district. I don't live there any longer, but I did so for a fifth of my life, and I have worked in that district for over a decade. That's why I love that district and wish the best for it and its inhabitants. I want to recommend a book that I bought some years ago. It is called De Rurigancho, Prehispanic Origins of San Juan de Lurigancho. San Juan de Lurigancho is a very special district in our country and our city because it is the most populated one with more than one million people. A place that at present has many problems and opportunities, but if, if we look back, I guess we might have a better perspective. Written by the Peruvian historian Juan Fernandez Valle in 2007 and published by the Editorial Fund of the Congress of uh, Peru, on 208 pages, this book manages to explain in a friendly way that is half between you know, the great public and academic uh, style, the background of the district, you know, from very, very old times, the, the typical division that we studied at school, the horizons and intermediates before uh, the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors, the many styles in ceramics, monumental architecture, the different societies. He also uh, conducts a state of the art on previous investigations, previous research, and it has led him to conclude that, for instance, the um, Guancho ethnic group did not exist. He focuses on the um, previous societies uh, like Ichma, Lima, or the Rurikancho ethnic group itself, and also how they had to deal with or adapt to the new life, the new situation that arrived with the conquistadors, their institutions, and um, the need to adapt in order to survive. It goes on through viceregal times, Republican times, and even now, San Juan de Lurigancho today. That's why I really appreciate this publication with an impressive bibliography, photos, statistics, maps, graphic organizers. Yeah, really, really impressive. Before the pandemic, I did not visit some of the most important and famous archaeological sites in the district. Mangomarca, as you can see between pages 65 and 67 which can be considered the capital of the Ruricancho ethnic group. And also another one called the Fortress of Campoy. Those places are there waiting, waiting to be fully restored and to be promoted and waiting for Limeños to know them, to get to know them and appreciate them. How much I would like those uh, archaeological sites to be truly valued, restored so that the community and the archaeological sites itself win. I really recommend this book, even though it's 15 years old, much of the information still prevails. And this is a good opportunity for me to greet the people who live in San Juan de Lurigancho, who were born here or who for different reasons opted for living in San Juan. Let's make our district a better one each day. Bye bye.